Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, here is another video to give you a second tip on using older software in Windows 10 or 11 that was not meant for Windows 10 or 11. It might be software that you were running in Windows 7. It has to do once again with the question of a viewer that's trying to get a piece of software running in Windows 10 that he really needs but you know it's old software. Once again there is no guarantee that you can run it. A lot of old software just doesn't work. But hopefully, uh, the trip, the tips and the tricks that I give here are going to help out. So I told you, install the software running administrator of rights. That's the first thing you should do. Um, and if it runs, if it actually installs successfully, that's actually the first step. That's nice because it means, you know what? It actually did what it had to do didn't you know encounter any errors what's next of course you will click on the icon and have it working if it works congratulations it might look weird sometimes it might access the the screen or access windows in a way that find weird but if you can at least use it and do what you want you've successfully had that first step now you installed it but when you click on the icon nothing happens or an error message pops up or just windows crashes or something weirds happening what else can you do now you installed it what you need to know is where it installs and that is a crucial thing when you actually have software that you install you will always be told where it goes so I an example that I was using in the previous video is this one here when I click on it it actually starts the install process and this install process will actually give me information about the install itself. So it says here, setup is loading and all of that. And pretty much all the software that you use will at some point, especially the older software, is going to tell you, yeah, okay, next to continue. And it's going to tell you what it wants to do. It often will actually tell you where it wants to install. So you'll look at the next steps and install for anyone using, just for me. Um, and look at all the info, where it goes. And here it tells me it goes into program files and into this folder called Simon's World Map. So it tells you exactly where it's going. Program files, Simon's World Map, in the C drive. So let's cancel because it's already installed. Now, when you know where it goes, what you'll want to do is find the executable. So we know that going by File Explorer, that I have to go to the uh, this PC and go to the C drive and go into Program Files. That's where it installed. And then I'm going to search. It was called Simon World Map, and it's here. And here, this probably contains an executable. And you'll see it, it's right here in my case. It ends with .exe. What you want to do if that doesn't start, because when you click the icon, that's what works on the software you use. And of course, your software will have its own name, its own location. Right click on the executable, go into the properties. You'll be giving in this property and this, in this um, um, software different options. Now, um, when you click the properties, you'll have compatibility. And here the compatibility, you have a troubleshooter that can try for you to find what's the proper setting. But you can also say, hey, I want to run this in Windows 7 compatibility mode. And you have different options. Disable full screen uh, optimization. You can run it as an administrator. This I would recommend to try um, and try different options that are with here. Um, and of course, apply, click OK, and try to run it. Try a different setting. If it doesn't run on Windows 7, you can try you know, Windows 8 or Windows Vista or whatever. Um, in Windows 7, if it did work, usually that's where you want to try it. And you want to run it as an administrator. Try it and see if it works. If it works, well, you've successfully had that whole software. So 
Does it install on the first step? If it does, try this. It doesn't install on the first step with administ administrative rights. It won't. It will never run in Windows 10 or 11. If you do have it running with compatibility, that's great. Some software will work. Uh, it all depends on how it uses Windows. So good luck. But uh, these are the things you could try for. If all fails, well, the best thing to do is maybe try to find an old PC running Windows 7. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.